There's a line in, in the drawings that I found, along with the line about the inevitable unfurling of life and how difficult it is to just let it unfurl, and how I felt that kinship with him when he said, and there's nothing more difficult. Oh, he knows that there's nothing more difficult. That's the support and refuge of community, I feel. I'm in community with him when, he's, when I read that he said, there's nothing more difficult. We're in community with each other as we woo -woo, sit here um, together with mosquitoes and heat. And um, ourselves, that's the most difficult thing. The mosquitoes and the heat. <laughs> it's the, I'm much more difficult with me than that. Anyhow. And so this is something I felt along the same lines when he says, life is total confusion. Or is it that I'm the only one who's confused? <laughs> right? Um, no, you're not. <laughs> um, I'm totally confused too. And then the confusion pops like a bubble, but then I get confused again. But there's a clearer something after that. The sage embraces time and space, joins it all together into a single whole, letting confusion range free. Right? The sage, being stupid and thoughtless, bundles 10,000 years into a single thing, letting the 10,000 things be what they are. Letting the 10,000 things be what they are. There's nothing more difficult. And we have to be kind of stupid, in a way, to what we think we know and who we think we are and the way we think things are. We have to be fools. And. Um, Strange, because that could be, in, at one time I would have said my biggest fear, my greatest fear was being a fool. And now it's like an aspiration. 